The sinking of the vessel Prestige off Galicia in 2002 caused one of the greatest ecological disasters in Spanish history. Thousands of tons of viscous oil washed up on beaches and stained the coast black. Six years on, the Prestige disaster is just a bad memory. The crisis has been largely overcome thanks to two innovative processes. The first process was that employed to clean up a large part of the fuel. A virtual wave of thousands of volunteers worked for weeks, meticulously scrubbing, cleaning and removing waste as they traversed the coast. The speed of this volunteer response and the efficiency of their work demonstrated that when faced with a challenge of this magnitude, local communities really pull together and work as a team. The second innovative process is the way in which the collected waste is being treated. It's currently recycling 80,000 tonnes of the oil, sand and plastics that were collected and stored at the time of the clean-up operation. All of the materials, which were completely mixed together when they arrived at the company's facilities, are being recovered and reused. To achieve this, Sogarisa designed and built a plant capable of treating 20 tonnes of waste per day. The machines, through mechanical and temperature-based processes, are able to separate the oil from the water, sand and plastics. The four products can then be reused, serving as building materials or as a fuel to generate electricity. Sogarisa has painted the technology, and some international firms have expressed interest in the plant. The company which forms part of Ferrovial Services has thus solved a local problem by developing a potentially global technology. Oil spills at sea are increasingly becoming a problem around the world, and this solution may prove to be the answer. Research development and technological innovation form the basis for continual improvement in the standards of quality and safety that Ferrovial offers to its customers.